Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to walk you through an extremely useful FPS guide from a player named Milkbrain. Milkbrain is an IT specialist that created a basic Windows 10 optimization document, which I just recently found on Reddit. After going through it and testing everything myself, my in-game frames have been a lot more consistent and surprisingly higher than they usually are when I set them to uncapped. This may sound like it's a little too good to be true, but trust me when I say, it really does work. The whole method is basically what all those PC wizards do to help out pros and well-known content creators. That means it's not magic, and it doesn't involve anything sketchy or any downloads. All it is are tweaks and enhancements to your computer to get it to perform to the best of its ability. Lastly, in case you want to do your own research or look further into each step, I'm gonna leave a link to the entire Milkbrain document document down below. It's a pretty straightforward Google Doc that I'm going to outline and follow along with in this video to help you all out. So, with that being said, let's start at the top with setting up a restore point. If you don't know what that is, a restore point will give you the option to revert any changes you did not like for whatever reason that may be. For 99% of you guys, you won't need to use it, but there will always be mistakes and issues that come up out of nowhere. Anyways, on your home screen, go to the Windows search at the bottom and bring up your control panel. Once it's open, go to system and security security at the top, then press system again and over to the advanced settings on the left. A smaller window should pop up and you'll want to press on the system protection tab at the top. Give it a second or two to populate and then select your C drive or whichever drive you have Windows installed on. After that, hit configure and set the slider to 5% as that's all you'll need to store your operating system. Finally, go back to the other window, hit create and name it today's date. Now we can get into the good stuff. Stay on that window, but click on the advanced tab that's next to the system protection one. Under performance, hit settings, and then you should have a bunch of different visual effect options. Milkbrain advises first to select the adjust for best performance option, this way it unchecks all the boxes, and then select the custom option. If you really want to, you can leave it all unchecked, but it looks much better if you enable the smooth edges of screen font setting, as well as the show thumb thumbnail instead of icons one. Apply that and you're good to go. While still on the same system properties window, go over to the remote tab and hit advanced under remote assistance. There should be an option checked off that says allow this computer to be controlled remotely. We however do not want that enabled. So uncheck it to stop any of its processes from running in the background. Lastly, press ok, then uncheck the allow remote assistance connection option on the prior page page and click apply. Moving on to the disable drive indexing part and you'll need to bring up your file explorer for this step. Once that's available, hit this PC, right click on each drive, I only have one, and then press properties. Go down to the bottom and uncheck the long allow files option. This basically turns off the feature that looks up and indexes your files in the background. Any searches you do on your computer will take a second or two longer, but your drives and overall PC will speed up a lot because it's not constantly indexing as you play. After you hit apply, a pop-up will appear and you'll want to click the apply changes to drive, subfolders, and files, which is the second option. Following that, we're going to go into the window settings by clicking the windows icon down here and the tiny little settings gears. For this part, hit on system, then notifications and actions, and disable all of them. That means to turn the button off and uncheck all of these boxes. After that, go to the focused assist tab, one under the notification notifications one and turn both focus assist itself as well as all the automatic rules beneath it off. This will stop any annoying pop-ups you get talking about preventing notifications as you game because we already disabled that and we don't need it affecting our computer's performance. Second to last system setting we'll look at is power and sleep. As Fortnite gamers, you do not want your PC to sleep on its own, so turn the plugged in sleep option to never. 
You can then finish by pressing the storage settings and untoggle the option for storage sense. Doing that will prevent Windows 10 from unnecessarily moving around any files and as with everything else I've covered, will stop it from using up your processor. The next place we're gonna go is back to the homepage of the Windows settings and into applications. At the bottom, there's a startup tab which will bring up all the applications that automatically boot up when your PC does. Milkbrain advises you to turn off anything you don't use, maybe even turn off everything if your frames are really that bad, as this will greatly speed up your startup time and increase your FPS. You will still be able to use and run any of these programs as normal, this just stops them from starting up without you wanting them to. After that, go back again into the window settings and this time into the gaming one. Make sure you turn off game bar and if you've been using it to record, to start using Nvidia Shadow Play. From my experience, Shadow Play is way better for your PC and the recordings look way better as well. The other important setting here is Game Mode. This is an interesting one because most people advise you to turn it off, but it's actually gotten a lot better in the more recent versions of Windows. A little rule you can follow is that if your Windows version is 1809 or later, then turn it on, while if it's it's anything before version 1809, turn it off. That's it for the gaming menu, so you can continue on to the Windows setting homepage once again and over to update and security. On the initial Windows update page, head over to advanced options and turn everything off. Then, go to delivery optimization on the left, turn allow downloads from other PCs off, and within those advanced options, check everything so it's enabled. Make sure though, you set all the values to the lowest they can possibly be, and that's gonna wrap up the Windows settings. Onto the power options, and we'll need to bring up the control panel once again, like we did at the start. Once it's open, go to system and security, power options, and then click high or ultimate performance if you have the option for them. If you don't, check the additional plans that are hidden. Otherwise, you can select balanced because we're going to turn it into the high performance one anyways. So using whichever one you select, hit change plan settings and then hit change advanced power settings. The options we care about are wireless adapter settings, which you'll set the power saving mode to maximum performance and then PCI Express, which you'll want to turn Turn link state management off. One of the last major things Milkbrain covers is ping tweaks and optimizations, but as most of you guys know, I literally made a video about that the other day. Make sure you check that out, as it covers everything he does and more, so I'm not going to cover it again in this video. Instead, I'm going to finish by talking about your NVIDIA settings. Before we access them though, I think it's important to make sure your drivers are updated to the newest ones possible. To do that, search up GeForce Experience and hit the application that should be downloaded onto your PC. At the top, click on Drivers and you should then be given an option for the latest driver that was released just a few days ago. If you don't, that means you're all up to date or you need to click the Check for Updates option on the side. Last thing you'll want to do is download it and then install it using the Express Installation option in green. With your drivers all up to date, we can finally go into your NVIDIA control panel by right clicking on your desktop and then clicking on the option for it at the end of the list. After it opens, go to adjust image settings with preview that's under the 3D settings and select use the advanced 3D image settings option. That step is extremely important because when you click on the manage 3D settings tab, you'll then be able to customize everything. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time, so I'm just going to show my settings and have you guys copy all of them. These are by far the best settings you can get regardless of your specific PC and components, so be sure to go over all of them and use the same exact ones that I did. Unless of course it's something related to your GPU, because most of you will not have the same part as me. Overall guys, that is Milkbrain's FPS boost for Windows and Fortnite Battle Royale. I did leave some things out, but I'll leave the full document as well as all of his socials down in the description below. So if you guys learned something new or you found the video useful, 
useful, then do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on my notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jarian. We're getting insanely close to 500k subscribers, so remember to sub if you have not. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.